Hey, good afternoon. I hope you're having a good Thursday. It's time for our daily poetry reading again. Finishing up the uh, series that we've been doing on the limerick. In the first two videos, we talked about some of the basic rules of the limerick, that it's a short five-line poem that is humorous. And then we talked about the rhyme scheme, how it follows an A-A-B-B-A rhyme scheme with lines one, two, and five rhyming and lines three and four rhyming. So the last essential rule is probably the one that's the most tricky, which is that the meter of the poem, which is sort of like the rhythm of the poem, is based on the anapest. An anapest is three syllables with the third being stressed. So you can actually use the word anapest to get a feel for what it sounds like. It's da 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 da. So that's two syllables with the third stressed. Um, typically speaking, the first two lines will have three anapests, the third and fourth lines will have two, and the fifth line will have three again. So where it gets a little bit tricky is sometimes the first syllable in the anapest when it starts a line is silent. Uh, so Take, for instance, the famous, there once was a man from Nantucket. If you notice, that goes da 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 That first syllable is sometimes silent in those. But as a general rule, it should be two lines of three anapests, two lines of two, and then a fifth line that once again has three. So that is the last rule for how you compose a limerick. So today's is going to come from the book The Hopeful Trout, by John Ciardi. The limerick is called There Seems to Be a Problem. And it goes, I really don't know about Jim. When he comes to our farm for a swim, the fish, as a rule, jump out of the pool. Is there something the matter with him? So again, if you go back and listen to the poem, you can hear the rhythm in it. So it goes, I really don't know about Jim. So that's following that anapest meter. You can actually listen to that in each line. So that will complete our sequence on the limericks and the basics and how to write it. So today's question is just, uh, did you write a limerick or a challenge to write a limerick and share it down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you stay healthy and well, and I hope you have a great afternoon. I'll see you again tomorrow.